He, so this is a poem that he personally wrote. First in Dongba and then in mm. tra translated in Chinese and he's going to us. He went down to the river's edge so that he could us. So what he's saying is that this is a story about, basically, I mean, the message is that the three rivers, but he's the poem that he wrote, right? This is, doesn't have any historical background, <laughs> but he just wrote it because the three rivers being born on the Tibetan plateau and not knowing each other, but being born from the same mother, and then they get to the ocean and meet each other, and, and then they're so happy that the whole world hears about it. The whole world could hear them singing. The three parallel rivers region became known the world so these three rivers <laughs> flowing through China's <laughs> west is a, an analogy for um, for Nashi culture and the culture in the three parallels river region because as he understands and his experience more and more people all over the world are starting to understand and appreciate Nashi culture in this and this and this area and the ethnicities <laughs> in this area so it's sort of a, I think it's interesting to use the rivers as an analogy for sort of celebrating the, the culture in this area and the fact that more and more people in the world are knowing about it. And so that was his idea for writing this trip, and it fits pretty nicely into our the theme of our river trip, too. <laughs> Hey